two, three. No, it counts like seconds. So like, how, you, how long a second? It's on the third second you clap. So we're not trying to go. No. One. <laughs> okay. One, wow. two. What do we need to do? We have eight claps. <laughs> well, I know, but they're all shitty claps. Okay, fine. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Well, enough. All right. That's okay. Anyway, welcome no mic to... We, we did the mic test, okay. right? <laughs> anyway, welcome to the second episode of the You Are Podcast, who's somewhat gets to be named. I'm Michael. I'm and AJ. I'm don't interrupt me, Amy. I'm sorry. Anyway. Really rude. Everyone have I'm a week. sorry, please don't get me I had a good week. What did you do this week? Pass. <laughs> Pass? <laughs> you don't remember what you did this week. Um, to be honest, not really. Cool. I watched Star Wars. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to see the Iron Giant in theaters tomorrow. So that's pretty cool. Well, I haven't seen that movie forever. It's really good. Have Shout out to Brad Bird. <laughs> good guy. Cool dude. Okay, what are you doing uh, I had a midterm this morning, so I've been studying, I've been doing homework, and I've also been trying Wildstar because it's free to play now. You're a nerd. Wildstar? Yep. I mean, you guys been Bastion? I just I've heard of I bought it because it's on sale for three seventy four on yep. Steam. I haven't played it yet, though. I've heard really good things about it. I finished it. It's really good. It's Bastion's good. 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 But, but you gotta have a controller to play. Yeah, I... Like, 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 a, like a joypad pad or like a... Any controller. I just had an Xbox. Yeah, I put it in a USB. Because I'm a bad PC gamer. And I, I did for a controller. controller. I, grew up, I grew up with the GameCube. So it's like. Yeah, I was a console baby. I was a console baby for like. Yeah. Until college. So I still use an Xbox 360 controller on my PC. Oh, yeah. I I mean, if I can get a game on console uh, for like a low price, I'll usually get it for console. But. There are a lot more PC games. You're never gonna find a game for cheaper than on Steam. I yeah. know, I know. We just waited out enough for sale. I just don't have a good enough computer to like play games the way that I want them. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But also, I don't have enough friends that have consoles to <laughs> warrant me getting them. Uh, I just don't want to pay the fee for like, you gotta pay $60 a year to play online. You can just play online on Dude. Uh, yeah, both PS4 and Xbox One, they require you to have that Xbox Live and PlayStation Network thing. Yeah, yeah, I have PS Plus. They get a whole bunch of free games. Like I got Bioshock Infinite for free. PS Plus is and that was, I mean, that's what fifty dollars a year. That game is easily worth sixty dollars. Is that still doing that? Didn't they have like it was at least for like a year where they're like every month they'll get a free game. With yeah, them. but they're always crappy. Assassin's Creed Two was not crappy. Uh, that was <laughs> you did no. Okay, I have a confession to make. I've never played Assassin's Creed any of them. So um, everyone, a moment of silence for Michael. Great. Cut that point for <laughs> Um, but I like video games. We all like video games. The last game I paid sixty dollars for was Splatoon, and it was amazing. Just What's the next game you're gonna pay sixty dollars? Uh, Zelda Wii U. Mel Me. Uh, the last game I played, I paid sixty dollars for was Dragon Age Inquisition. Okay, that's a good choice. But oh, I actually Splatoon didn't. wasn't. I didn't say that wasn't. The thing is, technically, I didn't. I'm just shocked at what, what you didn't say, which well, is what I'm gonna say after he says. Was it Destiny? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I technically didn't pay sixty dollars for that game because my cousin paid for uh, paid for me because I lent him some money. So he's like, okay, here's the interest, sixty dollars. I'll buy you anything you want. And I'm like, okay, buy me in possession. And he's Pretty like, okay. Cool. Yeah, he thought like. Okay, what did you pay sixty dollars for? I can't remember the last thing I paid sixty dollars for. That's your answer? Well, you know, Bill, well, no. you have some great. I game. I can tell you how many games I've traded in for sixty dollars. How many games? So. I don't know, it was probably like, we traded in probably 14 games, this like, lone game store that had like, they had like GameCubes and Atari 2600s and like the old Xbox, everything, like, what else they have? You know, the N64, SNES, everything like that. Yeah. And like, we got, we got Borderlands 2, we got I saw Alan Wake. Because that was also free on PS Plus. Yeah. So I'm like 20 hours into that game probably. I can get into Borderlands. It's, I mean, it's fun. Which, which one? It's pretty fun. fun. I tried, I played one. I played two. And I didn't like it. It's Thank just you. like you just run around and do missions and like nothing makes sense. Okay, yeah. here's the thing. Whenever I play RPG games like that, I, I like to do the main story and just Same. regard all the side missions until after I beat it. But I heard in Borderlands, you can't do that because you'll never be able to beat the levels unless you yeah. level up on the side missions. That's also why I couldn't play Skyrim. 
because, okay, I played maybe 20 minutes of Skyrim, and I was like, there's so much going on, I don't know what the main story is anymore, I was overwhelmed and I quit for <laughs> 20 yeah, I minutes? <laughs> I would agree though, I played Skyrim for about 6 hours before I got bored of it, and I just broke the game with mods, like the Thomas the Train mod. That one's crazy. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. I've seen videos. You guys are crazy. That's a, that is a 115 hour game, and you played 20 minutes. That's another, I that's another... I played seminars. I played yeah. that game five times through, all the way. It's I, the best game. I paid five dollars for it on Steam, so like, yeah. But that's the thing. You know, I don't have enough computer to really run it. Yeah. yeah. Well, so maybe if I had like had it on console, I would have enjoyed it more. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Suffer. Yeah. Anyway, what happened this week? We we're gonna talk about something. That yeah, water is kind of hard. Yeah, water on Mars. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. What were the, what were like the laws of it though? Like they measured it with like the dark spots on like. Like the shadows are made when it's flowing. Oh yeah, it was like it was like a, a video of you can see it flowing. Oh yeah, it's like a really special. Video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, um, but the like the rovers aren't even near it, so and they're not they're not really made to like go test that kind of stuff. Now, that's a challenge. We need to get we need to get the rovers like doing that. Did you get Matt Damon doing that? He's yeah, there. it's just oh, yeah. So. <laughs> conspiracy, man. The movie's coming out and they find this out. Conspiracy. They've been conspiracy. waiting. They're like, that would be the Martians coming out. We're just gonna wait and give it some free pub. That's short for publicity. <laughs> I kind of don't. That, thank you for explaining that. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Think I, I don't know if I could see it or read the, and then read the book or read because I want to read the yeah, book. Yeah, I, I, I have the same dilemma. I don't want the movie to kind of be like. I don't want to be there going, oh, then this is gonna happen. I don't, I don't know what medium I want to experience it for the first time. I think maybe bug because I'll be discouraged to read. Yeah, bug. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do just... the Martian, the movie, the game. <laughs> that <laughs> game. <laughs> and that'll be how I experience the story for the first time. That'd be a great way to do it. Speaking of stories, segue. Uh, the guys who made Death Note and was it Bakuman? Is what it's called. Yeah, Bakuman. Oh, the, 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 the roller, the roller Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, the roller Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, the roller Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they're making a new manga. Yeah, that's what Bakuman is. I think it's, it's Platinum End is what they're calling it. Yes. And they're like... Platinum what? Platinum End. What's their Bakuman? I mean, I'm not sure they do. I think they just released Content but I haven't read up enough on it. I tried to, but I kind of lost it. I don't follow any of that. I watched Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid. Yu-Gi-Oh was kind of... Like the original Yu-Gi-Oh or like yeah. the Yu-Gi-Oh? Not like the original. No, the first one, right? Not really in that dumb school or Hey! Like, this, that was terrible. The first one was amazing, but I like the second one too. It's definitely not as good, but it's still like... No, I like how the battles in the first one take like 8 episodes. <laughs> I do too. The thing that sucked though, remember the bad guy? Merrick? Yeah, Spoiler yeah. alert! Sorry everyone if you didn't watch it back in 2003. It's uh, easy to talk about. Not Pegasus. Yeah. Not, I'm not talking about But like, the bad bad guy. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Merrick? The end of the Merrick? One of the last scenes, right? Yeah, I think so, I think so. I don't remember. The, Egyptian. the weird Egyptian guy. Yeah. The weird Egyptian guy. Yeah, so like, I remember, because I watched, I finished it, like, mm -hmm. probably two years ago. Yep. So I remember, every time someone would talk to him, he'd be like, oh, sure, like, Joey would come up in his Brooklyn accent and be like, <laughs> be like hey, we're watching the battle over here. And then, <laughs> and then he'd be like, oh, okay, I'll come right over. Then I would go to his inner model and be like, ha ha, fools. They don't know I'm secretly planning to kill all of them. And that's every time someone talked to him. And like the last three episodes, that's all I remember is that he would inner monologue the same thing to himself. In the Ooh, you know what's really important? The Yu-Gi-Oh! A Bridge series. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear about it. That's just But ridiculous. I don't know how much it. My cousin's really into it. I've seen how, it you can't play so many blue eyed white dragons. Yes, he can. <laughs> yes, he can. He's I'm quite like a red eyed black dragon person. I'm a slice of the sky yeah. dragon kind of guy. Dark magician? No, dark no, magician is red and one dragon. Always dark magician. Um, <laughs> I, I remember was like. Is there a fan fiction of that where they. Oh, I'm. Rule 34. Okay, let's. let's <laughs> Let's not go there. Okay. No, but I remember reading a template. There's like a t template Yu-Gi-Oh episode online. <laughs> it's like opponent says, "Ah, now that I've got you cornered, unless you have this very specific card in this very specific <laughs> scenario, there's no way you're gonna get to go to the shadow realm." Then the hero goes, "Well, guess what?" <laughs> <laughs> that's every episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's, that's exactly how it goes. It wasn't as good. As it's as the heart of the cards. It's not as good as both. Pokemon's better. Pokemon's better. The Pokemon anime is horrible. I feel like no, the first Pokemon Origins is yeah, no. Okay, that's different. Oh, the movie? That's different. No, it's just a movie? Is that a no, movie? No, the story yeah. it's the story of Red, right? Pokemon. Yeah, it's a movie. Oh, is it also is it a movie? movie? Yeah. Or is it a whole anime? It's a movie. Best Pokemon. Is it both or is it it's a movie? 
What's the best Pokemon movie? Oh man. I Pokemon know. Origin has to be the best Pokemon. Pokemon. What? I mean, I haven't seen it. Pokemon it's Orange? Origin. Origin. I don't know. That's the one with red. Oh, that's yeah. the best one. Okay. What about, what I don't know. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen in a long time. What about YouTube one? That's the that one's gotta be the best. My yeah. favorite one that's is Pokemon, Pokemon 2000 with Lugia. Oh yeah, that's a good one. And also I like the one with Jirachi Pokemon Forever. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what, you're right. That one's the best. I, I take it back. I that one's such a favorite. Wait, that's a Jirachi? Yes. I meant to Celebi. So I thought Jirachi was still the best. It was also a little Jirachi. Jirachi or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Maker. Yeah. Cool. Jirachi's pretty cool. Is, I think does, is the one with Jirachi also featured Deoxys? Yes. Yeah, that one's the best. That one's the best. Just for a minute. Wait, no, we're playing the battle with Deoxys. And like that huge city, like the whole time. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Because like, because, because like, Deoxys just made Rayquaza mad, like he almost hit him. He's like, yeah. I'm gonna get you back, it's like, tag, you're in. Okay, wait, did you guys play Ruby and Sapphire? Those were yeah. my first yeah. Those were my, also, right. no, I played Silver for like a little bit. But, yeah. after that. but, um, Guess how many hours I played Ruby for? 47. 342. How? That's, what were you doing? No, mine is probably something like that. Mine is probably something like that. Um, was it? Okay, so we all heard the rumor like, oh, we talked to the guy in the space program building enough, he'll send it to the moon and he'll fight the Is that yeah, true? I don't think so. No, is there any way to get the oxygen? You've spent the most hours. Did you ever spend like uh, seven hours? Uh, debatable. Debatable. I have also spent quite a, a large amount of hours. How many hours did you spend? I don't know, that was like my game. Is like, when I was, that's the thing, when you're a kid, you don't get like, Three dollar games on Steam. So yeah. when you get one game, you play the crap out of it, no matter yeah, how terrible exactly. the game is. Yeah. Aragon for DS, play the crap out of it. It was the worst game. <laughs> Aragon for DS. It was so bad. Try King Kong for DS. Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer for the Game Boy was the worst. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of bad games on Game Boy. Yeah. Also played Lego Island 2 for the Game Boy. Also on PC. Also Lego Island 1. Also Lego Racers. Also Lego Rock Raider. Oh, did you guys know that in Ruby and Sapphire there's the real competitive mode? Yeah. 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 That, that was awesome. Hey, guess, that. guess, uh, guess who uh, had the guidebook? So, he gave him all the throw open. Sorry. Guess who had the Oh, not you? No, I had Oh, I had wait, you bought the guidebook. The, the Prima, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I think I bought one of them. No, I never bought them. I just went to the GameStop and looked through it for like where it was at. <laughs> like, I can't find it. it was, yeah. I remember specifically for Diamond. I was like, I can't find Gibble. I want a Garchomp. Yeah. So, I went to GameStop, looked through the books, I found it, and I walked out. It was not, I didn't pay for that. <laughs> It's like a lending library. Yeah. So you're confessing a crime that you commit. Well, they're they're kind of. I was browsing. Yeah, they're like deciding whether or not they're they're I want. Bashing through the window like SWAT team style. Like, what if I give you five games? You're going to give me two cents. It's true. It's true. That's a very accurate picture. What's your favorite video game for guys? Skyrim. Uh, Portal Two. Persona Four Golden. It's not just just came out recently. No, it's been out for a while. Persona Four came out. I think something about Persona Five. Yeah, there are many Persona games. Five is coming up, but it hasn't yeah, come up okay. yet. Yeah, so I don't know. I have five mentions though. Awesome. Ocarina of Time is up there. Yeah. Minecraft is up there. Um, Biofy Infinite and Super Smash Brothers. Probably Melee is my favorite. Yeah. You Wave Dash. Yeah. No, uh, All that L canceling. Yeah. Wombo. <laughs> Wombo. Happy Feet. That's the best video on YouTube. No, the best. Video. The best video are all the videos where they take the audio from that video. Yeah. And they put it over. There's ones where um, <laughs> this guy's proposing to his girlfriend, and she rejects him and runs away. Oh my god. And it just fits perfectly. You ever seen Wombo Combo? No. Just go and watch Wombo Combo. Everyone, Google Wombo Combo. In like after this podcast, go Google Wombo. Where are you at? Where are, where are you at? <laughs> Did you guys watch those Pokemon videos made by Smash? No. Yes. I didn't watch a single thing. I actually liked Smash when I was younger. They recently came out with a movie. They're making their videos these days, but their Pokemon videos are really funny. In fact, they got famous by making a Pokemon video. Yeah, that. But four kids took it down. I remember that. Nintendo took it down. Did you ever watch that Pokemon video? It was like this really crappily animated Pokemon video. And I don't remember what it's called, but like. Who oh, made Pikachu? I don't, I don't remember. Pikachu is like a really low voice. And in order to catch, uh, Team Rocket takes Pikachu, and in order to catch Team Rocket, Ash has like a Will Smith balloon, like bring him over. And, like, <laughs> what? No, you have to watch this video. It was like my favorite video as a kid. It was so good. I don't know what it's <laughs> called ridiculous. though. It's ridiculous. It's really, really, it's unbelievably oh, ridiculous. Will Smith balloon. Yeah, it's really good. Also, um, Poke Awesome by Ego Raptor. Oh, you, yeah, Ego Raptor's awesome. There was this one video I watched, I don't remember what it was called, it was just like really, it was like 2D animation and this guy gets tossed out of the Pokemon club, and so he's like a new trainer kind of, 
So he's about to walk in tall grass, and Professor, like, Professor Oak's like, wait, you can't walk in there, Pokemon hide in tall grass. It cuts like one blade of grass, and a Snorlax pokes out from behind it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes back. <laughs> Uh, uh, they knew that the stuff about Pokemon, Fomax is just chill in the middle of the road, so you know that's I mean. inaccurate. It wasn't accurate. <laughs> snap, Mike, snap. I saw this video on YouTube about Snorlax. They compared all the pictures of Snorlax from all of the Pokemon games. And it took you 10 years to stand yeah. up, yeah. <laughs> they actually made a video on YouTube. About He's that. getting smaller and smaller in every Smash Brothers game. Well, I mean, they need to make it more feasible. In the first one, he took it was like somebody got Snorlax, it was like over. Like it was like the whole screen, and now it's like a couple of people wide. Maybe. Oh, someone's yeah. dying. Someone's yeah. dying. Yeah. Someone's what? Dying. <laughs> Snorlax dying. Just so much Snorlax. Like. So much. <laughs> oh, Munchlax. That makes sense now, because Munchlax was kind of not super yeah, fat, they ate and then he ate a lot, and all the food coming evolved. What if food made us evolve? That'd be pretty cool. Well, I, it kind of did, I guess. That'd be pretty, uh, High level well, what would your what would your second evolution name be? So your first is Mike. Mike. Oh. Mike. So it'd be your evolution would be based on Jike, Jike. Mike, Jike, and Mick. No, Jike. nobody eats it while there's a Jike though. I what? mean, you see a lot of stuff. Yeah, actually, you yeah, not a lot. You gotta like you evolve. You evolve based on your favorite food. If it's like spicy, you evolve into fire type Pokemon. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> oh, so what's the type Pokemon would be based on what food I eat? Yeah, that'd be interesting. Um, yeah. well, my favorite food is steak. So, I feel like that goes to normal. Fighting type, maybe? Normal? Normal? normal. normal. Okay, fine. Like, like, if you eat a lot of fine, weight, then my, my favorite food is uh, voodoo dolls, so now I'm a ghost type. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I'm taking these off. Oh, it's ah, <laughs> so bright. Too cool for school. Oh, it's yeah, actually really bright. <laughs> is it really bright? Yeah, yeah, it's really bright now. Okay, cool. Um, so back to dudes. <laughs> the Pope's starting the a band. Pope's here. That's, can't, that's not true. It's true. Can you explain it to me? So, it's, it. it's not exactly a band, it's more like he's working with these um, Italian composers, like prog rock composers, and they're taking parts of his speeches and they're putting it to music uh, for this band called Il Warme. So he's not in a band, they're sampling his speeches. But he's like, but he's like, take my speeches and sample them. So he told them to do it? I mean, he's kind of arranging it. Pun intended for you music. I was expecting something more like, oh, I'm the Pope, so I'm gonna show mercy on all these bad music uh, artists. So like, take Miley Cyrus, uh, take Justin Bieber. Yeah, there's no such thing as a bad music artist because it's all subjective. Not true. Yes. Not true. Uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. That's also subjective. I mean, just because <laughs> other just because other people write their stuff doesn't make them bad. It just means more people right, are okay, contributing okay. to a singular project. Okay, I'll simplify. Just people who like Justin Bieber, Miley. Are you calling out Justin Bieber on the internet? Yeah. He's watching this. What if he's watching this? Really I don't care. So I just because other people hate him means you can just hey, bang on him? He apologized. He's good now. Yeah. <laughs> he's he, good now. He goes to Germany and writes down, like, he goes to Anne Frank's uh, uh, house, I guess, and then writes down, if she was alive, she'd be a believer. Oh, yeah. And I'm I like, that. He wrote that? Yeah, he wrote that. No, he said that. I thought, oh, he so said it. Okay. I, don't no, he wrote that. I thought you were like, he graffitied no. it on the wall. I'm like, no, he did. Did he write it? Yeah, he wrote that. No, he wrote it later. Oh, in the visiting, the visiting journal, you know? Oh, you in the visiting the, journal. Yeah, you go to the house, you, you look at everything, and then... Yes. <laughs> Jesus! I'm a believer. <laughs> oh, I saw, oh my god. I saw this meme, like, uh, fans go Justin Bieber, one of the fans has a death note, takes a signature. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, this, this isn't the hate, this isn't the hate cast. Let's, oh, okay, uh, okay. Let's, that would have been a good segue. Sorry, really Justin, news. we love you. But Abi loves you, Justin. No, 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 no. But like the way that you said it, made me think that the Pope was like starting a band, and I'm just picturing the Pope like being interviewed by people, and they're like, "So, how did you uh, come to be the head of the Christian faith?" And he's like, "Look, I just really want to talk about my music." I want to rock, man. My dad is playing this weekend. Uh, <laughs> Buy our tickets on Bandcamp. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to our Reverb Nation. <laughs> oh my God, I I had an account with them when I had like a high school band, uh -huh. and I still get stuff from them where they're like. Be on the front cover of this magazine you've never heard of. Just enter this drawing. I'm like, what are you? It's like a platform for artists to like share. It's like SoundCloud, but it has extra features. Okay. Like Imagine like, MySpace, but just for bands. That's uh, a really good, yeah. That's, that's a good announce. Yeah. Even though now MySpace is just for bands, right? I mean, is pretty I feel like it kind of. So there was a time when it was for everyone, then it moved to was for bands, now no one kind of, I don't really know what it's for. All I know is Justin Timberlake for scene people. Scene kids have rap I think they're gonna 
Take it down. I love your snap point is something. Yeah, that's pretty much so. I can't snap. I'm not right. I'm. Go off. I'm snappingly challenged, if you can call it that. Snappingly challenged. See, if this was a phantom, you could slow that down. Phantom? Or yeah. fan? Oh, phantom flies? Yeah. Yeah, we're starting a crowdfunding, we just started a crowdfunding campaign for, for the slow mo podcast. Yeah, we just do it in slow motion. It's like a three second podcast, but it's just in slow motion. <laughs> so so it takes about an hour and a half. I listen to that. <laughs> Would you really hear anything when you play this? You'd slow probably, probably be really, really, like, really ambient. It'd be like very relaxing. Because it'd be like. Ooh. It's more like a ghostly <laughs> chant going on when you try and go to sleep. Yeah. That reminds you me. Don't listen to, I'm a ghost type, so I'm all about that. <laughs> I read this Facebook post, it was or like a Tumblr post on Facebook that was like about Pokemon Go, and it's like I don't want to wake up at three in the morning being awoken by my wristband, and there's a Mr. Miner standing in the corner <laughs> staring at me. Was he a Pokemon? Or was yeah, that a person. <laughs> like, I'm not sure. Cause he was like hanging out with Ash's mom all the time. He was like weird. he was like a helping hand, which is a move he can learn. Yeah, that was, so he's just using that was the first movie I ever got rid of. I don't know why. But, but there's so many disturbing memes about Mr. Mime on the internet. But there's so much potential for like new like rules to be broken with this. Like if you yeah. get a teacher, like you're in high school or middle school who is like a Pokemon fan, yeah. and then like I gotta go to the back just like, no, you're trying to catch that Blastoise outside. <laughs> go ahead and go catch that Blastoise outside. It's like field trip, Pokemon hunt. Yeah, right. there's so much potential for cool stuff. Do you stuff think that actually the glass was in the wild? Like, do you think, that, or do you think that like the rules of Pokemon were like you can only get them from you have to like go to a special building or like a Nintendo it's store? Oh, for some they're doing it. Like, oh, that reminds me. I'm a, I'm a geology TA, so I had to take my kids to the cemetery for uh, field trips. Yeah, and you did. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we we went to look at all the cemeteries. Just pull up your phone. There's a Miss Maggie is standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah right exactly. Maggie. Right. Oh, it's a, it's a graveyard. Let's see what Pokemon we can find. And then there's a random Snorlax. Like, Nature over like, here. Yeah. <laughs> this gets worse. Is it? I want to walk through. The, I haven't walked the graveyard yet. I'm off next, but like I don't go through it. Actually, that's just why I did go through it once. But if you want to go to Chipotle, it's like right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a fancy tombstone called the Bubblegum Rock. It's a giant pink crystal quartz, like this big, a giant crystal. Oh. Have you guys got bought it and put that there? Have you guys seen the show Nathan for You? I've heard of it. Okay, there's this really good episode where he, what he did was he, he was trying to help a struggling pet store. Okay. So what he did was he, he had a pet fly and he let it die. A pet fly? And, yeah, because what he, what he wanted to do is get a giant tombstone in a pet cemetery that was that was an ad for the pet store. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so when people when their pets died, they see like the tombstone that was advertising for the pet store. And it's hilarious because all the tombstones are like in the ground, so it's like just nothing, yeah. and then just a six foot tombstone of like the pet store's like business address and stuff. It was really good. He's really funny. You should watch that show. Is it like a, is it like a web show or is it like a? No, it's on Comedy Central. You okay. can watch it online. Okay. But he, he goes to businesses and he gives them creative ways to like save their business. Like, oh, okay. like one of them was, he he told the gas station that they could charge a dollar seventy five for gas with a rebate. Except the rebate box was on the top of a mountain. So <laughs> if they wanted to get their money back, they'd have to wake up a mountain and solve like a series of riddles to like, oh my God. to find it. Yeah, he's really funny. That'd be great. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's a good show. I actually watched um, the first episode of The IT Crowd, or like the first I've heard this pretty good. I mean, I never really yeah, got into British. No, it's a British comedy okay. show. I never really got into British TV. I like, tried, but it was just never. Sure. Like, no, I mean, I what? just can't really. Sherlock is great. Just, I'm, that's for the record. I have Bro, it's on record that you say yeah. Sherlock is Sherlock right. is awesome. Uh, my phone background is, or this is, this is a Sherlock reference. To we'll this. zoom in on that in post. Sherlock. Anyways, <laughs> proceed with IT crap. That's kind of it. I mean, when I started watching, I was going to tell a joke from it, but it wasn't, it's not funny enough to yeah. You kind of have to see it or it's not funny. Neither you two like Rick and Morty. I'm, I'd want to. Uh, it's really good. The episode uh, this week, uh, this Sunday, it was awesome. No, it's a bit too disturbing for me. It's kind of wait, which one? I, Rick and Morty, right? Yeah, the yeah, cartoon show. Watch. Uh, I watched a couple of videos, a couple of episodes, and then I watched this episode where he finds this sex spot. Oh yeah. And I'm like, no. Oh, that was great. That's a great episode. <laughs> that was the first thing I watched when Are I came to the resort. Oh my god! Stop. <laughs> I, there was this awesome 
the um, YouTube video though on this channel, Idea Channel, and they're like, is is Rick from Rick and Morty the ideal scientist? Because like, oh yeah, PBS he, Idea Channel. Yeah, he does like ridiculous stuff. Like yeah. he was like, I can't revive the dead. Sorry, sorry, Rick, you're trapped in a homeless man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. it was like, it's more humanities based for like experimentation uh -huh. than like scientific progression. So it asks, is it is he doing like real science? Because he's just screwing around, kind of? He won't. Is that crazy old man? I, I don't want to spoil anything in the show. It's just a crazy old man. Fuck, I, I don't want to spoil anything. I mean, is it, it, does it, does it go for it in such a way that if you get things spoiled, the whole next part of the show? No, but there... I mean, it's more like Simpsons, where each episode isn't actually quite related with the other. Yeah, yeah there's so kind of an overarching thing, though, where there's an infinite amount of realities. Oh, okay. So there's yeah. an infinite number of Ricks and infinite number of Mortys, <laughs> and they, like, interact with each other sometimes. Okay. Yeah, um, so he's definitely very, like, I guess, experimental with science, but there's, like, there's debate about how... Uh, omniscient he is, yeah. I guess. So whether he really cares about progressing humanity forward or just kind of mess. I'm mean, pretty sure he doesn't. Yeah. I mean, I don't see much money. Money. Is there money in it? No. He doesn't care about money. He just tinkers in his, just, in his garage. Yeah. Uh, also, he goes to other worlds. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. You should definitely watch it. It's really. It's good. on my list. It has like a page and a half list of things. We should that pump that up. It's only 90 episodes so far. I always just gravitate things toward the middle. It's like a three column list. So I just. Yeah, Always put everything in the middle. Yeah, no, that was crazy. It's a word doc. It's a word doc. I mean, I just, uh, I just finished Community. I don't know if you've okay. seen I've heard of it. It's pretty good. Is that a live action show? Community, yeah. It's um, it's about six friends in the community college, and it got canceled like three times during its development because it was, it was really good at, uh, it has an audience. And it's a really, really good, like, complicated show with a whole bunch of running jokes, kind of like Arrested Development. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Yeah. Also, a really good show. Also, good. but it doesn't really pander to new audiences because there's so much going on that's like you need to watch the show to understand it. Even though each episode is kind of separate, if you don't watch all the other episodes, you don't really get all the jokes. So it just didn't get the best ratings necessarily. But then it got brought back. Well, first they fired their showrunner. Then it got brought back without him, and it wasn't that good. And then they brought him back, and then it got canceled, and then it got moved to Yahoo. Oh. And now it's over. Except there might be movies. And now it's over. It's because now it's Yahoo. Because if you see the show, Yahoo. Six Seasons in a Movie, hashtag Six Seasons in a Movie, that's like <laughs> a big part. Like, that's like a running joke. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of cartoons, though, do any of you watch Gravity Falls? No. no. But oh. there's actually tie-ins between Gravity Falls and Rick and Morty. Um, I, I actually want to go back and watch like Adventure Time and Oh Adventure Time. Yeah, cool. yeah, I watched like, two episodes. Cause yes. like, oh, guys. No, we don't have to. Either. Okay, I couldn't find anywhere online uh, that was like besides torrenting that I could find that I could. No, I wasn't torrenting. I don't torrent. Uh, I actually. It's don't, on record. He doesn't torrent. I actually don't torrent, but yes. I couldn't find it in HD for free anywhere, okay. or like I couldn't find it in HD online. So I just didn't, I, I couldn't watch Wait, it. Wait, uh, no, Adventure Time with me? Yeah. Uh, do you have Netflix? Yeah. It's on Netflix. No, it's not. It is. I watched it on Netflix. Who wants to fact check? I, I, when I was watching it, it, it was not on Netflix. It's, but. it's on now, and if you want any websites where you can watch it on HD for free, I know <laughs> Um, So maybe I'll check it out, because I've been interested in it. But I also want to watch Mr. Robot, which I heard. I do too. But on that note, we got our own. Oh, well. Any closing thoughts? I'm glad that we got through so much news today. Well, literally, like, last <laughs> minute news. The, the clock says we're at like 15, we have 45 seconds left. So, literally, last minute news. You are a podcast where we sometimes talk about news. And that's not news. <laughs> last minute news. I have a giant in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> and where is it? And where is it? The Henry you go, Henrietta. At 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, I am giant. You heard it here probably second, third, or maybe. Big Diesel is in his prime. He was the Iron Giant. You know yeah, because yeah. What? <laughs> the bald thing. It's funny. <laughs> oh, he's bald. He's also Groot. <laughs> That's irrelevant. But yeah, he is Groot. <laughs> I mean, you can barely understand him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I am Groot. That's all I said. <laughs> oh, I was actually in the um, creative writing club. 
Uh, Why would you say bye? You didn't say bye. I clapped and that was kind of like the signal for bye, but I mean... Bye! I just, I just bye. got... Bye! We'll it's have to cut that back in because I walked in front of the camera. Awkward, I think, or 